The best defense against candy hunger is a counterattack. I grew up coming to Martha's since I was in elementary school. In my eyes, and I'm sure in the eyes of a lot of other kids that grew up in Glendora, Martha's Candy is a landmark. It's the candy store. So to see it close would have been heartbreaking. We get people coming in almost daily telling us, thank you for keeping it open. One of the main reasons why we wanted to take it on was for the community. We love being in the downtown village of Glendora. People come here for the experience and we have so much support from the other local merchants. Um, I've been in business for myself since I was 19 years old. That's all my kids have known. So this is just an extension of that. Rather than a mom and pop, it's a mom yeah. and daughter. Yeah. We had a young girl come in last week that said, oh, I just want to hug your store. And we think that's what Martha's does. It makes you feel good when you've been here. Once upon a time there was an engineer. Choo-choo Charlie was his name we hear. He had an engine and he sure had fun. He's good and plenty candy to make his train run. Charlie says, love my good and plenty. Charlie says, really rings the bell. Charlie says, love my good and plenty. Don't know any other candy that I love so well. I love what I do here for many reasons. Everything, you know, to seeing a smile on a little kid's face, to just helping someone make a special gift for their loved one. We realize that everybody has a sweet tooth. We have over 100 jars of candy sold by the pound. We have fine chocolates. We have hand-dipped items in chocolate. Every week, my favorite thing changes. <laughs> We want it to feel magical when people walk in. We feel like little kids when we go to Disneyland. We wanted it to feel like that in our store as well. We would love for you to come down to Martha's Candy and enjoy the experience. <laughs>